Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to install Shizuku on any Samsung device without root access. Shizuku is a powerful tool that allows us to access advanced features on any Android phone without needing the root access. And today we will walk you through how to set it up on your Samsung device. So let's get started. First let me show you which Samsung device I am using. As you can see this is Samsung Galaxy S23. But don't worry this method will work for all Samsung devices. You can follow along no matter which model you have. The first thing we need to do is enable developer option. So tap on build number 7 time until you see developer mode has been enabled. Now go back. And here is the developer option. Open it. Here is scroll down further and enable USB debugging option. This will allow Shizuku to communicate with your device. Once done, let's go ahead and install the Shizuku app. So open play store and search for Shizuku. Here it is, uh, just click on install. Now that Shizuku app is installed, let's go ahead and open it. When you first launch the app, you will see a message says Shizuku not running. Uh, before we proceed, let me quickly show you my device is not loaded yet. As you can see when I try to start Shizuku, it won't work because uh, root permission is not granted. To further confirm, let me show you in root checker app. As you can see my device is not rotated. Now go back to Shizuku and click on pairing option. At this point Shizuku will ask for the notification permission. So go ahead and enable notification. Once that's done, you will see a new button appear to open the developer option directly. Now scroll down and search for wireless debugging. Uh, once you find it, simply enable it. Here tap on the pair device with pairing code option. As soon as you click on it, you will receive a notification saying pairing device found. What we need to do is enter 6 digit code to that notification. So let me enter it and click on send. Once the pairing is complete, you will see a message pairing successful. Now go back to Shizuku app and then click on the start button. Now Shizuku is starting the services, so wait for it and it will close automatically. And yes, as you can see Shizuku is not running successfully. Now with Shizuku running, you can grant access to any app you want, such as Sam Helper or Lexstone. Now this app can utilize Shizuku's powerful feature without requiring the root access. Guys, if you restart your device, you will need to repeat all the steps to run Shizuku again. This is because Shizuku's start and boot feature only works on rooted devices. And that's it, you have successfully installed Shizuku on your Samsung device. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.